Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be showing how to build the FT Raptor Chuck Lighter. Now the FT Raptor Chuck Lighter was inspired off of the F-22 Raptor that was made by Lockheed. The following pieces we're going to need for this model are going to be the main wing and body, the tail surfaces, the main fuselage, the nose doublers, our nose weight, and also our gauge for adjusting the tail. The only tools we're going to need for this build is a hot glue gun. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the main wing and body and the tail surfaces and the dihedral gauge out of the way. And we're going to focus on the four pieces that you see right here. You're going to notice as we weeded all the pieces out, I left these two center pieces in place. We're going to make sure we don't put any glue on this, but this is going to also hold our shape so it's nice and strong. Let's go ahead and first practice with a test fit. And you're going to notice I'm going to line up the front of the nose, the bottom of the fuselage, and the very top by the back canopy. Once we're happy with the way everything looks, I'm just going to put a thin bead of glue all the way around the outermost perimeter. And I'm not going to put any glue where that little notch is in the middle. Now we're going to go right back down on our fuselage. We're going to line up all of our edges and we're going to press that in place. Now if you lined everything up okay, you're going to notice that we can pop this out and our little tiny slice on our fuselage is going to line up perfectly with the wing slice. Now that we put one nose doubler on, you're going to see that we have our room for our nose weight. We're just going to do a quick test fit here, make sure everything looks good. And all we need to do is a little bit of glue on the very top and on the very bottom of our doubler. Finally, we're going to do one last test fit of the doubler on the other side. Again, making sure that we line up the top and bottom of the fuselage, the front of our nose, and the rear portion behind our canopy. Once we're happy with that, we can roll it 180 degrees. And again, a nice thin bead of glue right on the edge is all we need. Again, take your time and make sure that you don't accidentally put any glue right on that little notch. Use your fingernails and pull up the edge of the paper and then rotate and pull out the cavity just like you see here. At this point, the fuselage is now done. Let's go ahead and bring in our main body. Now you're gonna notice that the main wing in the body has some score cuts in here. This is the one obviously that unfolded with your kit and this is gonna be for adjusting our elevons in the back. This is gonna be facing down towards the table because what you may not notice on our fuselage is there's a slight positive angle of attack on the very front. This is gonna give us the proper relative angle of attack to help our plane glide better and be more stable. On the rear part of our fuselage, you're gonna notice two different tabs. The easiest way to guide this in is to open up the tab sideways. We're gonna push it out about halfway. Once we're about halfway through, we can rotate that 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna use the table as my friend and I'm gonna gently slide this all the way down until it stops at the very front. And if we slid this back far enough, you're gonna notice that the top piece will tab right in. And when we flip it over on the bottom, the bottom will do the same. This is a very important step because if the fuselage bends one direction or the other, it may cause your plane to turn. I'm just gonna sight down the center of the fuselage, make sure that everything is 90 degrees from the wing, and it is. And once I'm happy with that, I can just put a thin bead of glue on all four, on all four sides of the back of the fuselage. Finally, we're gonna put our attention towards the vertical stabilizers. These help the plane track through the air without yawn to the left or the right. Also, these vertical stabilizers actually have an angle to them, which gives them not only vertical stability, but also a little bit of horizontal stability. For that angle, we're gonna use this little angle gauge that we have right here. I'm just gonna start by pinching the very edges here, and we're just gonna do a quick test fit. And this little angle gauge is gonna go right here, and that will be the angle that we want. Once we've done our test fit, we can flip it over. Put a bead of glue right down on the bottom. We return to our build table. And then we'll use our angle gauge once again and hold it until it's dry. We'll do the exact same process on the other side now. Again, I just like to kind of pinch the tabs down just a little bit. Check our angle with the angle gauge, make sure it can easily bend over that far. And then we can apply glue and fasten it into place. Now 
At this point, our FT Raptor is now complete. There's one final thing that we do need to do though before we make it fly properly, and that's to give it the proper amount of reflex on the back. Now, this may have a positive angle of attack that helps to pick the nose up as it flies through the air, but we need something to cause a little bit of a conflict in the lift to get the right relative angle of attack. To do that, we're just going to slightly bend these up just a little bit on each side, and when we do our test glide later, we can adjust these more or less to get the proper angle of attack that we want. Once we're happy with that angle, all we need to do is either take our hot glue or a piece of tape and put a little drop of glue to lock that in. Now that our airframe is complete, let's go out and take it for a flight. All right, so we have the FT Raptor here all built. As we talked before in the build room here, we have a little bit of reflex on the tail here. We're gonna adjust this until we get the best glide slope possible. Every plane's gonna be a little bit different. Now, if you're flying outside in the wind, make sure you launch this into the wind. If you find a gymnasium and you can get up on the bleachers, it gets you a much longer glide. All right, so to throw this, I'm just gonna basically point the nose towards my target. I'm not gonna throw it like a football. I'm gonna throw it like a dart, making sure the nose is always pointing towards the spot I want it to go to. Here we go. There it is, good enough. <laughs> One more. Now on the very bottom here, you're gonna notice that we have a little spot for a rubber band. Keep in mind as you pull this back and launch it, you may wanna adjust your elevons either more or less because that extra speed is gonna give it the ability to pitch up. Friends, thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. Thanks for building along with me. I look forward to seeing your builds in the future. We'll see you next time.